What's up everyone? Justin here back with a AEW Dynamite reaction. Haven't done a AEW reaction in a while. It's been uh it's been more than a minute. It's been like I don't know one or two months at least. I'm here to react to all the fucking drama. I think MJF will kick off the show. He's a joker. He has a guaranteed title shot. But what the fuck? I almost spilled this. Anyway, I apologize. Anyways, I'm excited for fucking Dynamite. What? What are they going to announce? I know the Bucks and Kenny. A Steel. Christopher Daniels. Pat Buck. They've all been suspended, but what about the champ, CM fucking Punk, the champion? What's going to happen with him? Will they even address it? They might not. Have, Tony Khan might not have the balls to address it. That media scrum, what Punk did and said, that is the craziest, darndest, thing I've ever seen in wrestling happen. Yeah, there's been other backstage fights a lot of times in wrestling. The boys have not liked each other, hate each other. The crowd uh, jam-packed. Buffalo, New York. Oh, CM Punk chance. So they, they go right into a video package. This is the start of our Dynamite video package of MJF walking out months ago. By the way, you gone and fucked up AEW with um how you handled MJF leaving that shoot promo. I don't care if it's real. You should have brought him back a lot sooner than you did. You dropped the ball with that. But uh, anyways, what Sam Punk said, the guy went the fuck off. He had like a straight up meltdown, it felt like. And he had a real meltdown. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. Should have he said it in public? No, he shouldn't have said all that shit. Now we go to the announcers. Maybe they'll announce see what happened to the title in CM Punk. So it's chanting for him, Jeff, because the guy's from New York. So now we're from Tony. Hi. Thank you for joining us tonight, and welcome to AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite on TBS. You look like you got oh, egg on your face. You this past you were... <laughs> I've been forced to vacate the AEW World Championship, as well as the AEW World Trails Championship. Punk is stripped of the title. I don't like that. I like this, the trio's titles are vacated and stripped, new uh, trio's champ. And the Lucha Brothers, the death prime. The AEW World Championship is the single most prized title in all of combat. Tony Collins nuts. And decided in the grandest way possible. The tournament. The AEW Grand Slam Tournament of Champions. So. With seven-time world champion Chris Jericho. Sammy. Sammy versus Darby in a tournament. Hangman Page. Brian Danielson versus Hangman. The all-time longest reigning. Jericho gets a bye? What the fuck? Why? Jericho gets a bye in the tournament world title tournament, the finals. The finals are at Grand Slam, September 21st. From tonight at Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York City at AEW Dynamite Grand Slam. I promise you that tonight is going to be a great night of professional wrestling. And AEW will be at our very best these next few weeks on the road to AEW. Why are your eyes popping on your head? What fucking drugs are you on, Tony? Well, Tony, we've been saying we're going to make history in New York once again with Grand Slam. Punk has been stripped of the title. New champ in a tournament. 
I bet it'll be Jericho. It should not be. Hopefully it's Brian Danielson. It shouldn't be Darby Allen, but I wouldn't be against it if uh, Darby wins the world title. But I got Brian Danielson. Here comes MJF. I want to hear what the fuck is he going to say about CM Punk. Is Will he address it? Maybe he should. If he, if MJF does not address what CM Punk fucking said at the media scrum, if MJF does not address it, um, that's I'm I'm disappointed, MJF. If you don't address CM Punk, <laughs> Buffalo Bills, uh. Josh Allen jersey on MJF. The Bills are kick off the season tomorrow night. Bills against the Rams. Great face pop for MJF. He's acting like a baby face again because they're in New York. He's over. MJF save AEW. Yes, save us, MJF. A save us sign. I'll address what CM Punk said. Again, it was the craziest shit I've ever seen. The guy absolutely was shooting on the elite. Hangman Page. Uh, Cole Cabana, he ripped the fuck out of him. Good, because I don't give a fuck about Cole Cabana. I think the guy was a jobber. He never, ever, ever was going to be a top guy or a main eventer anyways. Yes, I'm excited to see MJF. Lord knows I am, guys. I love Buffalo, New York. Hell, the greatest quarterback of all time, Josh Allen, is from Buffalo. What about uh, Jim Kelly? No. Great Bills quarterback, Hall of Famer. Man, shoot on punk. Say something about it. I think we can all agree I didn't mean it. I was just kidding, right? I mean, honestly, a lot of fans are chanting, You were right when MJF did that shoot promo on Dynamite. He said, Tony, all you're doing is hiring ex WWE guys, and punk is an ex WWE guy. Talk about Punk. It's about time. I have to address the big fat smelly elf in the room. And no ma'am, I'm not talking about you. Oh, my. I'm just kidding, honey. We'll meet up after the show. You're gorgeous. Punk? <laughs> not Punk. I'm jealous. It's tough, man. Now that you know our world title has been vacated. There is no boo, no boo. Why is MJF not in the tournament? He should be in it. And he should get the bye. Jewish man, 
and his name started with an M. And when his people were meek and weak and they needed help, he split the sea wide open and he walked them straight to the promised land. Buffalo, I'm not telling you I'm Moses, that's ridiculous. I'm better than Moses! I'm gonna win that world title because my name Hell of a pop, but there you go. Here comes John fucking Moxie. Here comes Wild Thing Moxie. Oh yes. I like this. I don't know. They're not gonna say it. They're not gonna dress if Punk is fired. I think he's uh, just been suspended like everyone else. He shouldn't be fired. That's my opinion. My thoughts. CM Punk should not be fired. Because he said all that crap. Didn't bug me. I thought it was entertaining as hell. I couldn't believe what the hell I was hearing CM Punk say. It was hilarious. Saying the elite couldn't run a fucking target. That they are children. The EVPs are children. I thought it was great, funny, hilarious entertaining shit. Should have he said it in public? No. Because he uh, made AEW look bad. He made Tony Khan the boss look like a fucking joke and fool and bitch. Punk was like Tony Khan's pimp and just made him look like a bitch. And every time Tony Khan tried to speak up to cut off Punk, Punk was like, no, no, you, no, it wasn't it wasn't up to you to address it or some crap. Punk just shut him down. Like, CM Punk doesn't respect Tony Khan fucking at all. Crap. So let me get this straight. Jonathan, you think I'm not being sincere here in Buffalo, New York? You would think if a guy would go off, it would be John Moxley on the Elite or something. But no, it wasn't him. It was CM Punk. The real end Jeff is back. He wipes up Bill's jersey with his ass. Throws it. Josh Allen sucks. Says Josh Allen sucks. Legit. Might be pissed. Right now. 
Not the night I was on. Knox said, you better leave the ring or I'll make you leave. This is good shit. And Jeff takes his whole damn dress shirt off, then he walks out. The only material possession in the world that matters to me, but the belt itself is just metal, it's just leather, there's a bunch of them, you can buy one online yourself, put it up on your wall, that doesn't mean anything. What means something to me is what the AEW World Championship represents. And that means something to me, and that means something to a lot of people. The AEW World Championship represents passion for this sport, passion for this business. What I don't get about why the the how Punk went the off, and the fans that the and I don't the get ball. why he did it. Why he thought it was okay to do that. that we all had when we started this thing years ago and we wanted to show the world just what wrestling could be. The AEW World Championship represents taking the dark and ugly side of this business and letting it die with another generation. The World Championship represents the freedom to be as great as you are willing to dare to be. The AEW World Championship means being better than I was the day before. Even if it's just a little bit better. Even if nobody notices but me. That World Championship. Hell of a promo from Mox here. World Ton of passion. represents everything I love about this business. I'm sure Tony Khan told him to really get over the world title. How important it is. And that's Mox is legit pissed what happened with Punk in the title. We have no champ now. Interim. No, there's no part time champ. There, nobody is the AEW world champion now. It's fucking embarrassing what happened. Damn embarrassing. I get why Punk. Well, actually, I don't get why he said all that in public. He shouldn't have. It was stupid. Stupid as fuck. But I like Punk more than the Elite. So I do tend to uh, defend him. Even though I have no reason to defend Punk. The guy blocks me on Twitter. Has for years. But I don't care about that. I'm still a fan of CM Punk. Step foot in the ring, a better wrestler than I and I don't think he should be fired. He had... I'm sure in his own mind he had legit reasons for why he buried the elite. But he made AEW look really bad like a fucking bottom of the barrel shit minor league promotion. How he acted. That's like no respect for your boss or the company you work for to act like that in public. And you know what's worse? I gotta listen to the Mox, and then I'll tell you what's the worst thing of all about it, about the media scrum. Guys, I literally have goosebumps. This is powerful, man. And this isn't just time to win. This isn't just the fourth quarter. This isn't just winning time right now. 
This is time to be a legend. Moxley's not even in the tournament, I don't believe. Maybe he is, but I don't see his name. Maybe he got a bye, like Jericho. Maybe I missed the tournament brackets. Maybe he is in it. Anyways, back to what's what was the worst thing of all about the fucking mess of a media scrum that was. Again, it's entertaining as hell. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I couldn't believe it was real. But the worst of all, fucking AEW, you still have that shit up on your YouTube channel. You still have it there and available. Why don't you edit and get rid of the part where Punk is talking and bashing uh, the elite and wrestlers in your company bashing the EVPs. And uh, by the way, fuck the Young Bucks. I wish they were out of AEW forever, not suspended. Tonight we get a wild card match in the tournament. Hangman Page and uh, Brian Danielson. But the dumbest thing of all, AEW, why don't you edit, oh my goodness, Penelope Ford. Holy shit, she's hot. Take on Tony Storm tonight in a Eliminator match, whatever that is. So, uh, anyways, the worst of all, most embarrassing about the media scrum, AEW, it's like four days later. Since Sunday night, three nights later, three fucking nights you have had to edit the part of CM Punk out of the media scrum. You haven't done it. I watched it earlier today. That's unbelievable. That is absolutely mind-blowing, mind-blowing mind-blowingly stupid, I don't even know the words to use, it's the, one of the dumbest things you've ever done, seriously, punk, saying all that shit was, uh, just an embarrassment to the company and Tony Khan, and I'm not a fan of Tony Khan, the guy's not a respected boss, he's not like Vince was. It's not even Triple H. I, I got more faith and I respect Triple H a lot more because he was a wrestler. I like Tony Khan that he's wanting to start a wrestling company and give the fans an alternative. That's what I like about him. But I don't trust him as a boss or as a good authority figure or as a guy that all the wrestlers uh, respect. I doubt they all respect him. I think um, most of all the wrestlers in WWE respect Triple H. How could you not? Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know why they're leaving up the media scrum with CM Punk in there. They should edit him the fuck out. That shit was embarrassing. And Punk at one point said, it's fucking embarrassing I have to address Coca Cabana, a guy I have not been friends with since late 2013 or 14. Well, that was embarrassing to him. He was mad at the dirt sheets. He was mad at the elite. That they uh, were like children and spreading rumors and lies about him. Anyways, we're getting new trios champions right now. The uh, Death Triangle against the best friends in Orange Cassidy. Bottom line is about the media scrum. So I'm pretty sure Punk suspended. Ace Steel suspended. And uh, I don't think Punk is going to be fired. To me, he should not be. Just suspended and punished 
by a suspension. Again, I cannot understand why CM Punk lying to say all that crap in public. Again, Cole Cabana to me is never a main eventer, not even a good mid carter. So I don't give a fuck about Cabana. And, oh, CM Punk, a lot of fans think CM Punk really crossed the line by mentioning Cole Cabana's mother. I don't give a shit. You can talk about his mother, his father, his grandmother, his dog, his cat. I don't care what their issues are. I never did. But what I thought was hilarious was how Punk uh, talked about the elite. That was good shit. The problem is he shouldn't have said it in public. I guess, again, he said it. The only only defense I can give him is he said it because he wasn't thinking and he was angry as hell. So I like, comment, share, subscribe. The real, MJ, real MJF is back. It's a heel again. And, uh... Punk is no longer champion. What a rain. Had about a two-day rain or one-night rain. If he was suspended today, so he had a three-day rain. <laughs> Unbelievable. His return to pro wrestling has been a fucking mess. Came back, won, not a total mess, but he won the title the first time, got injured. Not his fault, but he got injured. Shouldn't have done the stage dive into the crowd. That was stupid. Because he, he broke his uh, foot on the guardrail. Anyways, uh, maybe you might be watching this thinking I am bashing AEW. I hate AEW. Not true. I'm fucking doing a reaction to it. I, I like AEW a lot. If I didn't, I would have paid fucking 80 bucks to go to AEW Dynamite in June. I didn't like the company. I also bought two t-shirts uh, from AEW. So anyways. So. I'm not an AEW hater at all. I went to a fucking live show in June. And I really, really, really loved it. It was uh, really fun. So. Uh, the major news. The Elite suspended. CM Punk. I think is suspended, but they won't fucking mention him. Cowards. Why can't you mention his name, Tony Khan? When you were talking, why couldn't you say uh, a former champion is on suspension? Why couldn't you say that? So now we just got to guess everybody involved was suspended. But uh, they don't want to mention Punk. Probably because Tony Khan's embarrassed of him. And how he acted. I would be too. If I was a boss. Behind closed doors. After that Mia scrum. I would have talked to Punk. I would have said. What the fuck were you, were you thinking? You were not thinking. Why'd you say all that shit? But uh, again. Punk said all that shit. Right in front of his boss. He was sitting there. to look like a fucking fool. Like a fucking fool. That was not a boss of a major company. Made AEW look bad. Made Tony Khan look fucking worse than anybody. He was just sitting there looking shocked and having his eyes pop out of his head. Like they always do when he talks. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back for Tony Storm and uh, Penelope Ford. I also might react to Brian Danielson and Hangman in the first round of the AEW World Title Tournament.